With new Path of Exile leagues, I like to set a few goals for myself, and in Ritual League, one of those goals was to farm a headhunter. And in about a week's worth of casual farming, I was able to afford one. So I decided to make a quick little video on how I was able to make around 100x with just basic Alk and Go tier 10 canyon farming. So let's take a look. So the main idea behind the strategy is to farm maps in Valdo's Rest. We farm in Valdo's Rest because of two Atlas passive points. Ominous Arrivals, which guarantees at least one Harbinger pack per map, and then also Diplomatic Escort, which ensures that that one Harbinger pack has an absolute ton of monsters that all drop currency shards. Now from all of these currency shards, I was able to make around 4 to 6x every hour purely off of Ancient Orb Shards and Exalted Orb Shards. When I ran these maps, I would open up the map in my map device, go in, find the Harbinger pack, kill the pack, get the loot and get out immediately. So why then tier 10 canyons? Well simply because with the correct Atlas setup, I was able to fully sustain tier 10 canyon maps off of purely Alk and Go. And canyon also has a very nice linear layout and the faster you can find the Harbies to kill them, the more currency you're going to generate each hour. For a quick example on how I did these, you can see that my Atlas is set up to have 4 Watchstones in every single region, except in Valdo's Rest where I only have 2, and then I also have Canyon favorited on all 3 slots in Valdo's Rest. I would then just open up a map, and as soon as I enter the map, I just immediately start running trying to find the Harbinger pack. Now you don't need to kill off any other mobs, I'm just killing these mobs so I can steal buffs to get a little bit quicker. I also run in zigzags to try and speed up the finding them process. And like I said, you fully sustain with just Alk and going these maps. Even if you don't kill all the other packs, you just strictly rush towards the Harbage. And as soon as you find them, I just kill them, get the loot and leave the map immediately. And now if you are planning on doing something like this, I would recommend you do not attempt this with a projectile build as the proxy shields they have are very annoying and that's pretty much all i do on repeat so a few days ago i ran alk and go tier 10 canyon maps on stream for about an hour uh, link in the description if you want to give that a follow and this is the loot that i got from that hour of farming uh, 17 ancient orbs so that's about they go for four ancient orbs and per exalted orb so that's about four exalted orbs right there and for the exalted orb shards that's 15 shards, so it's almost a full exalt, just purely from exalted shards as well. Now, as I said previously, I make around 4 to 6x every hour, and uh, that's just purely based off of RNG. And I also did drop pure exalted orbs somewhat frequently, but uh, that didn't form part of any of the calculations. And that's pretty much it. It was a really solid way to generate around 100 Exalted Orbs. Now it's definitely not the fastest way to generate currency in Path of Exile, especially this league and especially with the new Atlas passives, but it's definitely a very simple and easy way to generate currency with nearly no investment. Your only investment is an Alchemy Orb per map. And like I said, you sustain, so you really don't have to do any trading at all. And that's the video. If you enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing. And if you want to give the stream a follow, link in the description. But that's it from me, I'm Snus, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.